the Spirit Red Bundle Pack from PDP for Xbox Series S and X is here. Let's unbox it and check it out. And as you can see, there is one month of free Xbox Game Pass, which I might as well give away in this video. If you think that's a good idea, just comment down below Game Pass and I'll give it to one of you lucky commenters. Just make sure you are a subscriber. Let's take a quick look at the back of the box and you can see here you get a wired controller, a wired headset, and also it looks like you can configure the controller on Windows PC, which is pretty cool. And we'll find out more about that when I play it. So let's open this box up. USB cable for plugging into the controller. So it's detachable, which is cool. And then we've got an attached cable to the headset. I'm not gonna lie, I like this color. You might guess I like red. So here we go, this looks quite nice. Let's check out the controller first. First impressions, wow, I love this color scheme. It absolutely pops, it looks fantastic. I just wish this was wireless, this would be amazing. It has a nice weight to it, it does not feel light or cheap, which is good. There's no rattles, pretty good. Buttons, trigger buttons feel nice as well, which is good. They are not just like click down, they have got some resistance to them, which would be great for racing games and things like that. Everything else just feels exactly like the standard Xbox controller. Apart from the D-pad feels a little bit less clicky, which I actually like. It's really, really clicky. The one on the standard Xbox controller is really loud actually. If I pick it up here, hear that versus this. You can hardly hear it. I like that. So one feature I love about this is it has back buttons. You can see here, these are fantastic. You can map these to be whatever button you wish them to be. So if you're running around in a game, instead of then having to take your finger off the thumb to press A to jump, you can just use the back button and keep your finger on the stick. This is amazing for first person shooter games or battle royale games. All of those games really, really benefit from this as it makes you more accurate and saves you time because you do not need to move your hand about the controller as much. Oh, there we go. You will be sorted with this. This will stretch for miles. Let's plug this in and see if anything lights up on it. Okay, the Xbox has started up in front of me and you just get a little indicator light on top of the X button, the home button, but the actual home button itself does not light up, which is a bit of a shame. Now we've got this working, let's check out the headset and you've got to coordinate. That's one thing that's cool about this set. It coordinates well with the red with a kind of like tattoo style down it. I really like it, I think it looks pretty smart. The head set has really, really, really super soft um, foam pads here. They, they are not going to hurt you at all. They are going to be really good. The microphone, you can see here, just clicks down and clicks up. I don't think that activates anything like mute or unmute. You'll need to use the button on the controller for that. But a nice, really simple headset. You can extend it as well. And you've got a really thin foam pad at the top. I don't think that will offer too much in the way of comfort, but at least it is there. So let's get this on. Yeah, feels good. Let's just pull this out here and plug it in to our headset. So with these paired up, press this button and it will light up amber color to mute. Press it again and then it will go out. So very simple, very basic, but a really good starter kit. You also get your one month Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which is really good, as that will mean you can dive into Xbox Game Pass and download all these games to play on your nice shiny new red PDP controller. If you like the look of this, it is a really good deal. I will leave affiliate links down below in the description to the best prices for this, so you can pick this up for your new Xbox Series S or X. It will also work on Xbox One. One thing that's nice to see is it is the new style of controller, so you do have the capture button on there, so if you have something cool happening in your game, you can just press it to take a screenshot or hold it to capture a video. So that's nice to see, and that will work on Xbox One and Xbox Series S and X consoles. So a really good, nice little style starter kit if you ask me and if you want to find out what I think about it make sure you check out my review which will be in this next video on screen right now.